plenty of time Hello for you guys, to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay set, calm, stay, stay calm. Set prepare. That up, man. It's all set the same. Prepare. prepare. It's all fine. Uh, what I'm saying that this is another benchmark of the compatible experience. The compatible experience is the medium settings right here. 720p and medium settings with no interlacing and filtering. Except this one. And a page to pull memory available. Fine. Alright. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Yeah, shut that up. And this is, and this is a problem the most demanding part of all. You all right and down yeah, there? Yeah, it's very can demanding you hear me? here. Yeah, I can. Hello? Shut up, man. This is about the most demanding area. Most test here. subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told yeah, I'm really that you've good got brain damage. Almost do you understand years. what I'm saying? At all? Shut up. What I'm trying to say is that if you have like 30 FPS, like without recording the game, at 720p with medium settings, you'll have a very nice experience. I'm not lying though. I did play it before earlier. It was like 640 by 480 with only 128 megabytes of VRAM. Then this is 192. This is where we're getting some. Get, this is where we're getting somewhere. Oh, does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say Apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are oh, now no. non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. There's a demanding part here, guys. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life Look functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and Shut no up, one's going to ask, don't worry, Shut but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay. Ready? Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh my god. Yeah, that feels good. Good news. Good. That is not. I w you know what, guys? What I'm happy more than anything else is that moment when you see the Portal 2 doesn't drop below 10. I'm very happy. At least it runs good though. Not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, and of course, because of the stunters, uh, you may get below 10. So I guess there might be some VRAM limitations. We're going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh no! Well, there we go. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, wow. at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Hello.
And again, welcome to the Aperture Science in Rich Legal Difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or stru Wait, can I use this? No, structural collapse. Oh no. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Yeah, it's so demanding here. The portals are very demanding. Not gonna lie though. Wait, the portal settings is okay? Okay, so everything's fine. So at medium set, you can't really play the game. You have no problem in trouble Cube playing it. And button based testing remains an important tool for science. And again. Even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cost us emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You and have remember, just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. So remember, God, this is quite demanding. The portal, the... that shadow shading... Yeah, it's hard to be, it's a semi-beast. It's a tiny beast. Like 30 FPS, not bad. If you feel liquid beast. running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Yeah, that portal makes it so stuntery. Because look at that, how demanding that is. And because of the forest. Hmm. Oh. I noticed something. Hold on. If I close this one, will it give me something? Wait a second. Oh, there you go. I don't wanna short you. Yeah, we're in a good FPS, not below 10. I'm very happy. It doesn't go terrible to my PC at least. It's very cool, good that even a medium setting it looks good. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. And what do you mean by that? Hmm, that's odd. But still guys, this is quite good experience though to play with because this game, uh, it's still playable, it's still good in experience. I somehow played it and it feels if good. Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium Oh! See the portal gun? Yeah, I can. Also, are you alive? Yes, That's I am. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. Yeah, look at how demanding that is. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. What All the right, hell are you talking Go about? Team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Look at that, how demanding that is. It is really demanding. Oh my god. And again, this is a very terrible experience. We cannot really play it. We can play it 6 for 80 though. It makes it good though. But shading like these are like very demanding. So you make sure to uh, uh, decrease the shaders. Something like this. Hold on. Yeah, right here, the shaders. It better be low on settings to mind for the make sure the graphics are better. This way it is, quite playable. It's not a tiny Some bit emergency enough. testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Anyways, 
Back to the game. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh my god. No. No music. No music. No. No. No music. I did a good thing. And this is low settings. This is completely low settings and still laggy. It was a low VRAM. Look at that, how demanding that shadow is. How do you disable the shadow, I guess? Oh my god. I like that. I like the graphics though, but still the resolution is quite terrible. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. And again, guys, you can play on 800 600 at landscape mode if you really want to. Let me do a landscape mode. Hold on a second. Um, apparently there is no landscape. God damn it. I hate myself. Who did that? Oh boy, did you guys see the stunter? It's quite not good. The bad thing. So this is now a turn by 600. If the image center is currently being bombed. Shut up. What I was saying is say, this is a turn by 600 now at low settings. Parted with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Uh, what is this? Twilight shit, man? Yeah, have to get that, I guess. Can't I like... Oh. Boy, isn't that too up? Huh. I guess there's a problem, I guess. There oh, oh, wait. What is this? This looks suspicious. No! Oh my... Ugh. Oh! Got it. Yes. And now this game is quite interesting. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Now, you gotta replace it. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. This is very important. Hmm. 
No, what was I supposed to do? Oh yes, of course, man. The torture. Okay. Let's go to hell together, man. <laughs> If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Ah, uh, come on. Ouch. Ouch, jeez. I cannot do that though. Hmm. Wait. There's something suspicious here. <gasps> yes. That is way too high. You know? It's way too high. Now I'm just gonna like. I'm ready. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's okay. I have another try. Whee! Ouch. It's here, oh. I was scared like it's all locked or something. It's quite fun though. Quite playable. Okay, now I guess I have to do it all over again. Okay, I have no problem. Yay! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Wait, so I'm I have to go as high as possible. Good work getting this far, future star. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I've been disabled. The enrichment center recently. Now, this is 656 by 9696. And yeah, this is very custom resolution. I've never seen it in my life. And what is this though? Available CPU memory may be affected by other programs such as... I don't know what this means. Just please help me. Special right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two, three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it? Really, that. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow! Ow! I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah, and I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Oh, right there. Um. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? You mean this one? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. Uh, Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. I'm careful. Just bring you up to speed on something right now. 
in order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Okay, let's okay, run away. Down these stairs. Jump! This actually, look at it. Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just. I'll just uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, a, 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 um, A. Okay. A, 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 C. Oh my god! Wait, did I do beat the job of hands? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural, we've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. Oh my god. How have you been? I've been really busy. Dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. What did you just call me? I will say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up. You must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. No! What's going on? Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. A dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Oh. 
Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More 16? I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe.